many years, and Victor will slip into the chair and put on the headset and join us for the recurve competition, which starts up right now. Here at Le Parnasse in Nîmes, France, the Indoor World Championships, and it's the women's recurve bronze medal match. Anastasia Pavlova of the Ukraine and Alexandra Mirka of Moldova, the first encounter ever between these two young and very fine archers. Pavlova from the Ukraine, a 6-4 winner in five sets over Karina Lip Lipiarska of Poland in the quarterfinals. She then lost by the same score in the semifinals to Mexico's Aida Roman. That match tied after the first four sets. Roman won the fifth set. 30 to 29. Now here's a good look at Mirka, a 7-3 victor in her quarterfinal match before getting shot down 6-0 in the semifinals by Japan's Miki Nakamura. Well, Vic Wonderly, let me welcome you in. It's great to have you with us. Thank you, Carl. Good to be here. Looking forward to it and having your commentary today. Been telling folks about you, of course. Sixth at the Beijing Games in 2008, seventh in Athens. So you've seen a few of these. I've been to three Olympics and uh, probably close to 30 world championships, so I've seen a few of them. More pressure in these world championships or the Olympics? <laughs> Olympics, no yeah, question. No question. But plenty of pressure for these young ladies. So here's Mirka from Moldova to shoot first. Uh, not the only thing she was hoping for, I imagine. You've got to figure she's a little bit nervous. First time out. Usually the first and last arrows of the competition is when, when the nerves show themselves the most. Sometimes in the middle they'll settle down and, and really get into a groove. But with the set system, uh, a bad opening doesn't necessarily mean a bad finish. And Pavla uh, obviously out here yesterday in the team competition, so she's a little bit more accustomed to the surroundings. The more opportunities you have to uh, uh, compete on the field of play for that venue, the more comfortable you're going to be in the situation. So a two-point lead right now for the archer from Ukraine. And Mirka warming up. Pavlova puts the set away and takes a 2 nothing lead. So a good look at Anastasia Pavlova on Ukraine's gold medal team of these indoor world championships. Came to Nîmes, ranked 17th in the world, was 9th at the youth championships in China in 2013, 17th at the outdoor world championships in Belek. And Mirka, not a lot of exposure here on the international stage, but had a good week, got through. And, I, you know, we've talked about this before, Victor, that I think just getting to this point is, is an accomplishment in and of itself. Oh, most definitely, most definitely. You know, every one of these archers here is a champion, and they had to be a champion in their nation just to be able to qualify to come here. So there's, uh, there's nobody here that isn't a good shooter. you got to run the gauntlet, don't you? You, you sure do. You sure do. A matter of survival just to get this far. And it's a 2 nothing lead for Pavlova in this bronze medal match. Ten. She really stuck that one. Ten. Both young ladies rising to the occasion. Nine. So an opening right here for Pavlova. Nine. You know, as Anastasia started with the uh, middle spot, that's not too common. Usually people start from the top and go down, or someone will start from the bottom and go up. But she started with the middle spot, which is what we use for the shoot-offs. So a nine ties it in the set. Ten takes this set, and she takes the set. So just like that, in the blink of an eye, a 4 nothing lead. And I've heard this said so many times, Vic, that it happens so fast. It, it really does. These matches go quick, and sometimes 
uh, you know, no matter how good of an archer you are, you know, in general, you have to be on right then. I mean, here we are six arrows into it, and there's a decisive lead at this point. It's, you know, six arrows over a course of an archery. That's, that's like shooting one free throw in a basketball game and missing it or making it. <laughs> so if you're Mirka's coach, what are you telling her right now? I'd you know, just probably be telling her to focus on what she's doing, to focus on her shots and, and uh, not get distracted by all the people in the stands and the fact of winning or losing. At this point, she has to focus on the task at hand to uh, make sure to, to do what she knows how to do. Of course, that's always easier said than done, I think. This is such a different environment. It really is. It really is. It certainly can be a very high-pressure environment. Of course, pressure is what you put on yourself and self-perceived, but uh, it's hard not to perceive it in this environment. Trailing 4 nothing. Mirka shoots first and shoots a nine. Ten and Pavlova keeps putting it in the center of the target. And she's definitely shooting well. Mirka hoping at least to split this set, but that eight's not going to help. No, it really doesn't, but with this game, you never know what happens as long as there's an arrow left in the bow. Ten. Now she's, she's uh, can be a little bit more relaxed on this last one if she just puts it in there. Nine points. What could be the final shot of this match for Alexandra Mirka of Moldova? Seven or better to win. No. Took only nine shots, only nine arrows to get the job done. That's pretty quick. It's a pretty, pretty fast match, but that's, you know, that's the thing. You can, if you're on for those few shots, you're good to go. And, and if you hit a, hit a rough spell, it doesn't take long to put it away. Anastasia Pavlova with the bronze medal to go along with the gold medal she won with her team. Ukraine winning the gold medal yesterday at these indoor world championships and this young lady taking a lot of hardware back home it's definitely been a very successful event for the ukrainian team here this year it really has and we've still yet to see victor ruban who's coming up in the next couple of matches right they still have one more chance for a medal here one more chance they have more opportunities than any other nation actually and we're leading in the medal count after yesterday's competition in the team events. And it's really remarkable, I think about it, not to get political or anything like that, but obviously there's turmoil in their country back home. 